Hello, hello, hello. What's going on? Hello, hello, hello. Come on in, guys. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, guys. It's Thursday. You know, Thursdays is my live day with Whitman Walker. So come on in. Good afternoon. Good morning, Brendan. Hey, how are we doing, Orlando? We are doing fabulous. I don't even need a filter today, so that's good. <laughs> hey, guys. Hello, hello. Come on in. We're going to wait a couple minutes on my normal Thursday lives with Whitman Walker. Um, today's topic is about STIs. Uh, I know we really talked a lot about COVID these past couple months and other, you know, HIV and mask and a lot of uh, other things, but we haven't really talked about STIs. Other STIs, I know a lot of you are, are familiar, some of you are not. So we're going to talk about that today. So come on in, join us. We're going to wait a couple minutes and have people come on in and we'll get started. <clears throat> hello, hello. Thank you for all the waves. Hi, everyone. Come on in. Don't be shy. How's everybody doing? Everybody staying healthy and sane during these days? Come on in. Come on in. We have like another minute, and then we'll start talking. For those of you that don't know or just joined, I am Orlando. I've been working with Lemon Walker since November that we started doing all these lives around March, April. Uh, just talk about different topics. So I'm gonna get a, into a little bit of that today. So come on in. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you all. So for those of you that don't know, I am Orlando, Orlando Machuca. I'm from the DMV area. Um, a social media influencer with Whitman Walker. So every week we go on live, we have different influencers who go on live and talk about different things. Um, so I'm gonna, I posted some information here for uh, HIV and SCI testing, phone number and a website. So if you've been looking to get tested, never been tested, uh, wanna get tested, please get that phone number and website and you, they can give you more information on all of that. Uh, like I said, I have been working with Women Walker for a while now as a social media influencer. I am Orlando, my pronouns are he, him. Um, and we're going to get started. Today's topic is about um, STIs and more information about STIs because I know we talk about specific ones. Uh, it's, oh, it's 4439. Give me a second. Let me update that. Hello, hello, hello. Come on in. Come on in. 44. Four. I'm getting old. I can't see. <laughs> Luckily, Instagram is letting me uh, copy and paste, so I just need to update the number. There we go. All right, so today we were talking about um, STIs and more information on those STIs. So for those of you that don't know, during the past few months, Women Walker's Health Community Department has expanded outreach efforts on social media. Uh, we cover various topics you know, about HIV, STI, sexual health practices, access to care, social detriments of health, general public health interventions, our series of outreach sessions also focus on the current pandemic, COVID-19, ways to manage your sexual, personal, and mental health. The community team is here to educate and support you. So like I said, we are gonna be talking about STIs today. So uh, we have a couple, I know there's so many out there. So if you have any one that we didn't talk about today, you know, hit up Women Walker and they can give you a little bit more information, um, accurate information, because I know the website is Crazy, crazy deep. Trust me, I was doing my own research and I literally was in all places of the internet yesterday. So don't let all the things you see on the internet affect you. Uh, contact somebody, your doctor, contact Whitman Walker to get accurate information from a specialist who can actually give you that correct information. So um, let's start with HIV. So HIV, many of you know, it's a human deficiency, a immunodeficiency virus infection. It's acquired uh, immune deficiency syndrome which is HIV, uh, is a spectrum of conditions caused by infection with the hu uh, human immunodeficiency virus. Following the initial infection, a person may not notice any symptoms or may experience 
brief periods of influenza-like illness. So kind of like the flu, uh, typically is followed by prolonged periods with no symptoms. If the infection progresses, it interferes more with your immune system, increasing the risk of developing common infections such as tuberculosis, as well as other opportunistic infections and tumors, which are otherwise rare in people who have a normal immune function. These late symptoms of infection are referred to as acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, which could come to AIDS. So uh, we've talked about this before. Um, you can't get AIDS. AIDS is something that you get, uh, acquire after not treating HIV. So super important, um, you know, to know your, your, your words and to be careful how you state things. Uh, the stage is often also associated with unintended weight loss. So we're going to talk a little bit more about symptoms in a little bit, but right now we're getting through the actual STIs we're talking about. Herpes, genital herpes is an infection by herpes simplex virus HSV uh, of the genitals. Most either have no or mild symptoms, thus you might not know that you are infected. So when symptoms do occur, they typically include small blisters that can outbreak from painful ulcers, flu-like symptoms such as fever, aching, swollen lip nodes may also occur. So that can also be genital, but you can, you know, sometimes you get sores on your eyes, sores in your mouth. They're all different kinds of herpes. So again, you want to get informed, you know, contact us so we can give you more information of different ones. Syphilis is another bacterial infection. It often goes unnoticed in its early stages. The first symptom to appear is normally a round sore so known as a chancre. Uh, it also develops on your genitals, anus, or mouth. It's very painless, but very infectious. So be super careful. So many things out there that um, we can get in contact with. Uh, gonorrhea uh, is another common bacterial STD. Uh, some of you have known it as the clap. So again, it is a bacterial STD. So it's also you know easy to get. And again, we'll talk about symptoms in just a little bit. Uh, last one we're going to be talking about is chlamydia. There's also a type of bacteria cause causes chlamydia. Um, it's mostly commonly reported, the most commonly reported STD in Americans, among Americans. So, so again, we're talking about five today, HIV, herpes, syphilis, gonorrhea, and chlamydia. We're going to touch, you know, different things. So... Now we're going to talk about symptoms. So I know so many things have the same symptoms, just like we talked about COVID, having the same symptoms as the flu. A lot of these STIs have the same symptoms. So, you know, anytime you feel unsure, contact your physician, contact Whitman Walker, and they could definitely help you, you know, get some testing and, and you won't always see symptoms. So you just get in the habit of getting tested regularly, I would say you know, every three months, every six months, depending on your activity. Um, so how long after exposure starts showing symptoms? So we're going to start with HIV. Uh, during a window period, a person can have HIV and be very infectious, but still be negative. So the window of the period um, for a fourth generation antigen antibody test is about four weeks. By this time, 95% of the infection will be detected. There is a three month window period after exposure for, for results that detect more than 99% of the infection. So yes, you can get it and you can be spreading it and you will not even know you have it. So be super careful on um, unprotected sex, uh, you know, and that's just with a specific partner that you know, it's just you and them. Um, but again, it can take anywhere between those four weeks and three months, four months, depending on you even getting any symptoms. So you might not get any symptoms at all. So it's super uh, careful to, if you feel anything wrong, go see your doctor. Herpes on sets is typically around four days after exposure with symptoms lasting up to four weeks. Once infected, further outbreaks may occur, but they could generally be milder. So with herpes, you can get medication that can help suppress all the outbreaks. Um, yes, when the outbreaks are there, it's easier to spread, but you can still spread even if you are not going through outbreaks. So be super careful, get informed, you know, talk to your doctor. Syphilis. The symptom of syphilis can appear as soon as two weeks after you are infected, but it can take up to 12 weeks. The syphilis blood test 
can turn positive two weeks after you are infected, that it can take longer. Sometimes a syphilis blood test does not turn positive until 12 weeks after you've been infected. Um, that is the one reason why we recommend you get tested for syphilis if their partner was positive, even if your test result is negative. The initial symptoms is painless, sore at the site of infection. Sometimes people don't see the sore, especially if it's inside your vagina, your rectum, which is your butt, or throat. So a few weeks after the sore goes away, most people will develop a rash. The rash can be on your chest, back, arms, legs, hands, feet, or genitals. All right? So that's another one that you might not see because it's not outside. It's, you know, inside your body. Gonorrhea is a frequently asymptomatic. So if you don't know what a symptomatic is, we've been talking a lot about that with COVID. Um, you might not have anything that shows you you have any symptoms, but you're still able to spread. So be super careful. Um, so gonorrhea is super, it can be frequently asymptomatic. When symptoms do not appear, they may show up as early as two days after the exposure or take as long as one month, all right? So we're noticing a pattern. Like you can get all these STIs and not know it, not test for it, not test positive for it, and put yourself or put others at risk. So let's see. Now for chlamydia, although people may never have any symptoms, when symptoms do appear, it is usually one to three weeks after exposure to the bacteria. One, even asymptomatic patients uh, with chlamydia have complications. However, it is so important to regularly be screened by your physician because it's very uh, frequently asymptomatic, right? So another one. So for those of you who ask, um, can you confuse symptoms of one with the others? Pretty much. A lot of them uh, can be symptomatic. A lot of them can have sores. A lot of them can have flu-like influenza. So you can feel like you're having a flu or a cold. So a lot of them can be the same besides any that are really like, uh, you know, herpes. That's more of a sores on your genitals or your mouth. So so that, that was um, how quick after exposure do you can you find out, can you test positive? So that also is pretty similar between all of them that you have a time period of you can find out in a week or two, but you can also find out in a couple months. So they're very, very similar in that, in that sense. All right, so now we're gonna talk about actual symptoms, get a little bit more into that. So the first one we spoke of was HIV. <clears throat> in the early or acute stages, it's easy to make mistake the symptoms of HIV with those of the flu. We talked about that. The early symptoms can include fevers, chills, aches and pains, swollen lymph nodes, sore throat, headache, nausea, and rashes. They all sound like flu things to me. They sound like COVID to me, right? All those things can be happening with COVID, uh, HIV. So if you feel any of that, don't just assume, oh, I have a flu. Oh, let me get tested. Oh, I'm negative for COVID. I'm good. No. Talk to your doctor. Tell them you're having these symptoms and get tested for you know, your, ST, your STIs or your regular doctor. And if you're, you know, if you're shy, call Whitman Walker. They're super, super there to make you comfortable. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a really nice place to go and talk to someone you don't know. And you're just comfortable getting information from them, right? All right. So for herpes, um, the short name of herpes is HSV. There are two main strains of the virus, which is the HSV-1 and the HSV-2. Both can be transmitted se sexually. It's a very common STD. The CDC estimates that one out of six people ages 14 to 49 have herpes in the United States. Oh, I love it. I love it. You get tested every three months. Thank you for sharing. So, so very good information, guys. Like, don't be shy. Like, talk to your friends about it. Like, some people are just not informed or they're super shy. So bring those conversations up. If you know you're being sexual, talk to your besties, talk to your friends, bring that conversation up, all right? Let's, uh, let's normalize being sexual. It's good, it's okay to be sexual. Just we gotta take care of our bodies. Um, so HIV-1, HSV-1 primarily causes the oral herpes, which is responsible for cold sores. However, the HSV-1 can also be passed from one person's mouth to another person's genital during oral sex. When this happens, HSV-1 can cause genital herpes. HSV-2 primarily causes genital herpes. 
all right? So the most common symptoms of herpes is blistery sores. In that case, genital herpes can, uh, these sores develop all around your genitals. In oral herpes, they develop around your mouth. Herpes sores generally crust and heal within a few weeks. The first outbreak is usually the most painful. So outbreaks are typically become less painful, frequent of time. And if a pregnant woman has herpes, she can potentially pass it to her fetus or womb to her newborn infant during childbirth. So this is called congenital herpes, can be very dangerous to newborn, newborns. That is why it's beneficial for pregnant women to become aware of their HSV status as soon as possible. So syphilis, uh, later symptoms of syphilis can include rash, fatigue, fever, headaches, joint pains, weight loss, hair loss. All right, so that's for syphilis. How are we looking in here? Yep, so you never had chlamydia until you moved to the U.S. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Chlamydia is caused by a certain type of bacteria. It's most commonly reported in, yep, against America. All right, so chlamydia, many people with chlamydia have no notable, noticeable symptoms. When symptoms do develop, they often include pain or discomfort during sex or urination, green or yellow discharge from penis, vagina, uh, pain in the lower abdomen. So those are pretty much the symptoms for HIV, herpes, syphilis, gonorrhea, and chlamydia. What happens if you don't get treated, right? This is very important, right? So if you don't get treated, um, many things can happen. So it's super, it's super important that, you know, you get tested, you stay on your P's and Q's, and always uh, make sure if you did have a night that you might have been unprotected, get tested as soon as you can get tested in a couple weeks, a couple months after. The window period is, is usually time between exposure, which is what we talked about, and when you actually start getting symptoms or you start showing a positive test result, all right? So what happens if you don't get treated? HIV can damage your immune system and raise the risk of contracting other viruses and bacteria and certain cancers. If left untreated, it can lead to stage three HIV known as AIDS. But with today's treatment, many people living with HIV don't ever develop AIDS. So we talked a little bit about that earlier. Only if HIV gets really bad will you get, can you get AIDS. So AIDS is not something you give to somebody, can get from someone. So be super, uh, you know, knowledgeable about your information that you share or you joke around. Don't be joking about things like that. It's not super nice. Um, I usually tell people, some people can have HIV for years and never need medication. You know, maybe their bodies kind of deal with it. Uh, some people take medication and they can go for years without having any issues as long as they stay nice and healthy. So it's not really, um, you know, the HIV that's killing you. It's mostly because it's attacking your immune system. If you have a low immune system, you can get a cold and that can kill you. You can get anything, pneumonia, you can catch any kind of bacteria, uh, virus, that your body can't fight because HIV is attacking your immune system. So if you do find out and you're like, oh, well, I don't feel bad, talk to a doctor, let them check your, you know, your stats and make sure if they need to, they'll put you on medication as soon as possible. Now, as for herpes, um, for the herpes, HSV causes blister and open sores in the mouth, lips, skin, eyes, and genitals. Uh, it's the most, it's the cause of most cold sores, while HIV-2 is mostly into the genital herpes area. These infections can heal on their own, although the antiviral medications are an effective way to speed healing, to reduce frequency of outbreaks, and minimize the risk of transmitting infections to others. So... Yes, they can go away, but let your doctor tell you if it's better to, you know, get on medication. Um, untreated infections sometimes get worse, particularly in people with weak immune systems, causing HSV to spread to other areas of the body or increase the risk of other infections, right? So syphilis, if it's not treated, syphilis can spread to other areas of the body and cause serious health problems and even death. It can damage your brain, leading to loss of sight, hearing sensation, as well as dementia and other problems. Many of these results are irreversible. So make sure you ask 
your doctors, you come to Whitman Walker and ask them, hey, I've never gotten tested for this. I don't think I might have it. I never think I could get it. That get your test, get your test, check everything, give yourself that peace of mind. Because like I said, some things um, have the same symptoms as regular colds, regular flu. And guess what? You'll never know because you thought it was something, you got tested for that, it wasn't that, it could be something else. So, let's see. Gonorrhea can also infect your eyes, throat, or joint. You can also be infected but have no symptoms. So, if you don't get treatment, gonorrhea can cause serious and long-lasting problems, including STIs from other bacteria. right? So, chlamydia, in the majority of cases where chlamydia is identified and treated early, the infection will pass without causing any lasting effects. However, in cases where the infection is left untreated, chlamydia has the capacity to cause long-term health issues and complications. All right? So always seek treatment, even if you're not sure. You know, ask somebody. Just ask somebody. Call Whitman Walker. They can give you information. So now we have, let's see, testing. So a lot of you don't know where to get tested, how to get tested. Um, testing can be with your healthcare providers, and they can also refer to you to a specialist for specific treatments if necessary. So call your doctor, let them know, hey, I want to get a referral to a special doctor who can, you know, test and treat me if they can't do it for you. Um, and also Whitman Walker, please go to Whitman Walker, uh, www.com whitman-walker.org forward slash hiv dash sti dash testing and I actually put it down here in the pin so take a picture of that or you can hit me up and I'll forward that little information website and phone number to you guys so if you're interested and you're really shy call Whitman Walker they can set you up for free HIV or STI testing which is available Monday through Friday 9 a.m. to 4 15 at our Liz location by appointment only so if you need to, call 202-797-4439, and they can definitely get you information on getting tested. So how are we doing in here? You guys good? Did we have any questions? Oh, look at all the love. Hey, sis. <laughs> oh, you guys are crazy. I love it. All the hearts and all the thank you, Whitman Walker, for always being informative. We appreciate you too, Nisha Soul. So don't forget, um, if you have any questions, hit us up, hit Whitman Walker up. They're always here to help you guys um, get more information. And that's what we're trying to do is just be here for you guys, uh, you know, virtually this year was really a, a boost in us getting online and coming to talk to you guys somewhere where we know you're comfortable, that nobody's judging you, nobody's looking at you. Uh, we're here for you um, to normalize being real, like we're being real. Um, take care of yourselves. Make sure you talk to your friends, your family, people who may be older that don't even know that these things are, are around. Let them know. Be like, hey, you know, there's a clinic that, that does some testing if you ever think you need to. Um, let's hit them up. Let's go together. Why not? Take your friends and go get tested together. Take your new hookups and go get tested together. I mean, not everyone's looking for a relationship. We know that. So... So be sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter um, at Whitman Walker uh, for most up-to-date Whitman Walker information and more content. Don't forget we have a couple of social media influencers. So it's not just me every Thursday, but you might catch me another night with another influencer um, or your C Soul or David, Brendan. We have a lot of people that come in as guests and they come join us and they give us information on things that they do a lot of. So also follow our youth team at real talk dc underscore and you can follow our cultural center at the corner dc we appreciate you all if i don't have any questions i think we are good for today thank you brendan thanks orlando another great live thank you we'll see you guys soon stay tuned for next week you guys have a great weekend stay safe and don't forget your social distancing six feet away all that good stuff, that corona is still real, pandemic is still real. We love you all. Take care, Whitman Walker.